Hey everybody, Michael Cull here. Uh, I've got her a street level guitar, and hopefully soon to be your favorite guitar teacher on the internet. Getting you guys playing fast. So, um, kind of doing technique stuff today, and um, I'm going to give you sort of the granddaddy technique exercise that I get everybody doing, and this is, I think, something that a lot of people do. Um, and it's, it's what we call chromatic fours, and we're just playing kind of traditional uh, four fret, four finger position. <laughs> Um, sort of guitar, and we're gonna go chromatically up a string, and do it with every string. All right. Now, the one little wrinkle with this is that as we ascend on each string, you're gonna keep keep your fingers down. We're not gonna do this. This is good um, if you're still trying to develop your sort of ready position, um, hovering over the strings, and it's good for finger independence as well because it forces you to plant a finger and then move the rest of your hand away from it, which is in playing something we do pretty much all the time. Um, so we're going to try to keep each finger right by its fret, right where it belongs, all right, in a perfect world. And I'm using my sort of classical uh, thumb in the back hand position. We don't want to do this out of the blues man axe handle grip uh, because we need the full length of your finger. And uh, we're going to go across and we're going to go back, right? And you're going to do it first in first position here. Now, when you're going backwards, of course, you're not uh, putting all four fingers on and then peeling them off uh, one at a time. You're going to go one finger at a time. That just makes makes sense. Um, so that's the first wrinkle with that. And you're going to do that uh, with your metronome, of course, uh, either two notes per click being eighth notes, one and two and three and four and at a comfortable tempo, usually 60 to 80 beats per minute for someone just getting to know this kind of exercise. Um, and then you're going to also, as you get comfortable, try to do it in 16th notes, which are four to a click, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a sort of thing. Um, if you really need to, to slow it down and get your hands uh, coordinated, do it quarter notes, do it one note per click. All right. The whole point of this is getting your hands in sync with each other. There's no um, no reward for speed here. What the, what the reward comes from is uh, being in coordination, being, uh, being in sync, left and right hand together. Um, so uh, steadiness is what we're looking for. Right. Now, if you can do it in first position and you get comfortable with it, the next thing I have students do is uh, when they go across, uh, before they go up, uh, before they return, move up a fret, change position, and then descend there. And then keep that sequence going all the way up the neck until they're pretty much in 12th position with the first finger at the 12th fret. All right, I can't go that far. On a, a non-cutaway guitar, and if you have one, don't worry about that either. Go as far as you can, but I'll do a couple of frets for this for you. Um, it's going to look something like this, right? Nice and easy, too. You know, two notes per click, right? so on and so forth right and just keep that pattern going alternating frets and of course doing all this with alternate picking down up down up um, and that's the that's the basic chromatic stuff that I get people doing uh, these really have no musical meaning these are just exercise you know these are uh, these are doing push-ups not playing football as I, as I usually say um, but you know a football player who doesn't uh, do push-ups is gonna have problems on game day so this is kind of the first exercise that we do just purely for movement um, and then afterwards after you get a little bit frostier with this we do uh, a whole bunch of sequences there's, there's a million different variations on this where you're uh, moving in different directions on the string substituting an open uh, note for a fretted note uh, all of that uh, every, every possible combination 
all right, of, of movement and finger. So, um, but what we want to do is get good at these two things first, all right? Because this sets your basic coordination between your hands, all right? And uh, learn it with your internal clock, and then as soon as you can, put it on that nice, steady, slow metronome, and uh, just start working it, man. Just start working it. You do this for a few weeks, uh, you know, uh, kind of consistently, and you will start to feel a new degree of coordination in your hands that you didn't have before. If if this is a new type of practicing for you, so. That's that. That's Chromatic Forest. So hope you enjoy that. Hope you get something out of that. And uh, email me, of course, at michaelcullmusic at aol.com if, uh, if you'd like a tab. Uh, I think I can write one, two, three, four on a tab line for you. And uh, we will make it happen. So until then, keep on spanking the plank. Keep practicing hard. Don't give up. And uh, we will see you soon. Peace.